Hi everyone, welcome to the second part of tutorial video calling app using react native and in this part of tutorial we are going to create a server and a client and make the client communicate with the server and this is this will form the basis of the video calling app and we will add a more feature just based on the feature of client and server communication so it's very important to understand the uh, how the server and the client are communicating and how they are working and if you are landing directly to this uh, part of tutorial then make sure you check the introduction part we have done uh, I will just uh, add the link of introduction part in the description of this video and you can see the theoretical part of this tutorial uh, on my website and I will also put the link of this theoretical part in the description of this video tutorial so let's start with the tutorial and let's first uh, create the server so the first step that we will do is that uh, we will open the console and we will create a directory mktir and we will name the directory calling app and let's open this directory in our editor and I'm using atom you can use any of your favorite editors So we have to create three files and uh, the first file we will create is package.json The second file that we want is server.js and third file that we will use as a client is index.html so I have the codes that we need on my website so I will use the same code so first we need to create the node application that will work as the uh, server and uh, we need to include some libraries we will be using express uh, the famous express.js of node uh, the famous express library of node.js and open js and socket io for the client server communication so let's let's first install these packages We'll just copy and paste this code and we will fire command first let's get inside the directory and fire command npm install this will install the dependencies that we need that is express open and socket io for this application see here a uh, directory has been created which has all the default libraries of node.js and the dependencies that we need that is express you can see here we have express and similarly we will have open and socket io as well here we have socket io so this basically installed all the 
dependencies that we need and now we can just add code to our server JS I have the code here So let's understand uh, very in a brief how uh, what we are doing in this server JS. So we have required all the uh, dependencies that we need. That is, we have included those dependencies, and using those dependencies, we have we are creating a socket server, and uh, we are. Uh, we are uh, starting the. Uh, we are starting the client and connecting it to the server and we are running the port uh, we are running the the server on the port 4443 here you can see we are just listening to the port so that uh, there is a client server communication and uh, when the user gets connected that is a client gets connected then in the console log you can see a message that will be logged that is user connected and we have we are listening to the uh, disconnect uh, event of the uh, client as well so when the clients gets disconnected the user disconnected uh, message is logged and when user will send a message that will also be logged in the console and that message the client the server will send back to the client so here we are sending this message back to the client and for this we have written a small function which basically contains contains the connection of uh, the connections a socket and uh, the message so this is basically the socket to which we are sending the message and this is the message that will be sent so this is a uh, in brief what we are doing in the server JS and how the server is working so now let's code the client part the web client remember this web client that we are doing the same uh, web client uh, code we will be using for our react native because react native will uh, be also be a client for the server and this almost the same code will be used with a little modification so we don't have to uh, recode the uh, means we don't have to do it from scratch for react native so let's uh, copy the code of the client and let's paste it to the index.html so here we have a web client this is basically a html document and we have uh, we have created an input uh, element and a button okay uh, from input element we are taking an input and from button we are calling a function send message and we have uh, included uh, the socket iojs and uh, here we are taking the value of the text box and we are using the socket send uh, method to send the message to the server and also when the so uh, this client gets connected the connect message is logged in the console of the client and when we send the message the message is sent back to the client and that message is getting logged as well in the console of this client so this is basically what the how the client is web client is working and now we will go and check this code how it's working so let's uh, do node server dot js so this command will start our server so our server is started and it's running on 4443 and now we will check 
the how it's working let's first open the console and so for four three okay so okay this is message for the fabricon so we are uh, getting a connect log that is the client has has been connected to the server and if we check the server then we can also see that a client it's is, uh, it's showing a message that a user has connected okay we will if we again disconnect if we close this it will show user disconnected so in this way it's working and it's working fine so again let's connect it and you will again get user connected and now if we send a message and we click on we have we have entered text here and we uh, we have entered text hello and we are clicking on enter message button so let's see let's first open the console and here we send the message the message is delivered to the server the server is logging it here and again the server is sending it to the client and the client is logging it here so the client server communication is working perfectly and this is the basis of uh, the complete video calling app so we have already uh, laid the foundation and now we have to just use this same technique to uh, to build the video calling app i think uh, the means the sophisticated features of the video calling app so i think that uh, you must have uh, got something to learn in this uh, tutorial and uh, if you have you are just directly checking this tutorial make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you subscribe to our newsletter on our website and uh, you will if you stay tuned we you will see that we keep posting uh, some tutorials that are really awesome and will help you in your app, uh, mobile app development so thank you so much for watching guys and see you next time bye bye